Hi everybody. You know this is the time of year a lot of guys come in and they're they're uh, spending the end of the uh, end of the year money on guitars. And and honestly, in my business, uh, it's the two three weeks after Christmas that tend to be the our busiest week. So somebody was in the store and asking me about mahogany top guitars. Why do they do that? To save money? No, they put mahogany tops on stuff specifically for the tonal character. They can be a little tight. You know, they crisp. Uh, you'd be surprised at how a mahogany guitar can be just as loud as cedar or any of the spruces. So I have two mahogany guitars here. These are both very similar sizes. Um, both about the same depth, both about the same size. This is a little bit bigger guitar. Now this is a custom-made Collings 2007 triple one which is mahogany one and then twos are rosewood from both companies uh, and then uh, mahogany uh, so this is a triple o one m h so herringbone is usually uh, for herringbone trim but it's also being scalloped this guitar is about five grand and this guitar is about five grand this guitar is used and you're probably saving about fifteen hundred dollars on this compared to this guitar which is brand new. Uh, now this guitar is from Martin's Authentic series and these authentic guitars are using aged wood, uh, aged bracing, a special finish. On this too, which is unusual, is Brazilian rosewood board, Brazilian rosewood um, bridge and headstock overlay and it, it is a copy of a 30's guitar which is going to be a 12 fret neck joint the reason you'd want a 12 fret neck joint on both of these is because as the string vibrates, it vibrates more over the body and less over the neck and you get more volume out of this. What this guitar will give you is a little more of a finger style guitar. It's got a one and three quarter neck, but it feels a little bigger. It gives you room for your fingers. Get my fingernails caught up there. I am no finger stylist. But, um, so this Martin is a triple O seventeen authentic, and it's taken us a year to get it. And we just got it the other day. full of tone but balanced. All the notes are the same volume. Again, if you're working on your finger styling or you want finally something that's a fantastic finger style guitar, this might well be the guitar for you. And these authentic guitars are as close to a vintage Martin as you're able to get and in some cases even better than some of the Martins, especially from the 60s. Uh, certainly from the 70s. This is a similar guitar. Again, a slightly bigger body. You're going to get a slightly more bass. And these are both the same price at $49.99. This is used. This has the gold hardware. Um, this has the solid finish instead of the satin finish. This is bound instead of unbound. <laughs> neck joint, a Brazilian bridge, and this was custom ordered with the Brazilian bridge. I think that's a $300 option for a little piece of Brazilian. Yeah, that's where things are going. And then a um, ebony board. So both these guitars are mahogany topped guitars. Both these guitars are tributes to old guitars. Both these guitars have one and three quarter nut widths. This one feels a little bigger, is a little more balanced. This one has a little more boom. These are fine guitars for you to add for something a little different, a little different flavor than perhaps your dreadnought guitar. So there you go. That's all for now. 
I'll go fetch another guitar. We'll do another video. Happy New Year to all of you, and thank you for the past 30 years.